Welcome to the Atkinson, formerly known as Cambridge Hall. This building was named after Princess Mary Adelaide of Cambridge, who laid the foundation stone on the 9th of October 1872. The building was designed by Maxwell and Duke of Berry and built by Messrs Haywood of Southport at the grand price of £30,000. It opened to the public on the 6th of October 1874. Standing 132 foot high, the clock tower was manufactured by Messrs Joyce of Whitchurch and was gifted by Mr W Atkinson Esquire of Southport, who was a philanthropist and benefactor and whom this building is named after. Each corner of the clock tower is carved with figures representing four periods of English history – British, Roman, Saxon and Norman. The figures are of Caractacus, Julius Caesar, Edward the Confessor and Alfred the Great. Between the window heads, four medallions represent the seasons – spring, summer, autumn and winter. Walking through the impressive main porch entrance we reach the foyer which houses a large ornamental fireplace that marks the opening date of the building. When the building opened Southport's post office was situated here measuring 35 by 42 feet. The stained glass windows were made by Edmondsons of Manchester. At the head of each armorial roundelt which represent the arms of Lord Skemmersdale, the arms of the Duke of Teck, the Royal Arms and the Southport Arms. These were displayed in the Atkinson on the third floor. Originally five windows were made with the final representing Princess Mary of Cambridge. However, in 1887 the Victoria School of Science and Art opened up next to Cambridge Hall. A passageway was created which connected the two buildings together. This required moving the window which is now located in the Mayor's Parlour, the Town Hall. Towards the end of the 1960s, Cambridge Hall had deteriorated to the point where it was almost unrecognisable. It was suggested to make some good use out of the structure rather than knocking it down as it was a listed building. Thus, it was decided to be turned into an art centre, with support from the Borough Council and an estimated cost of 230,000. In 1972, work commenced. Alan Deiches was the first director, and although the conversion work was difficult due to many setbacks, and the art centre doors opened to the public, on the 28th of September 1974. The Art Centre opened up with an annual music festival featuring professional artists such as pianist John Ogden being the first to perform. The Art Centre closed its doors for refurbishment in 2010 which lasted for three years, opening again in May 2013. Known as the Atkinson where visitors can enjoy the theatre, library, cafe, shop exhibitions and galleries all year round. Two years later, in February 2015, a new museum, Between Land and Sea, opened up joining the Egyptology Gallery. So there's lots to do at the Atkinson, why not pay us a visit? As well as the theatre, the gallery is changing all the time, different exhibitions, museum full of interesting things like Egyptology, P.T. Barnum's hat, library, cafe, shop, various other things going on. Opening times. Monday to Saturday, 10 till 4. Though of course if we've got a show on in the theatre, and we have several different shows each week, we're open later. So uh, why not pay us a visit, see what's on. Thank you.